Do you know the difference between the terms leasing, letting, and renting? Have you come across these words but aren't really sure how to use them correctly? If so, watch this video and find out. And if you stick around to the end, we'll take a short quiz so you can see whether you know how to use these three terms correctly. Hey, real estate experts. It's Jenny from Real Estate English Academy, the place where you can boost your English. Today, I'd like to address a question that English learners ask me all the time. What exactly is the difference between the words leasing, letting, and renting? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell button for notifications. We post a new video lesson every Tuesday so make sure you don't miss out. Let's start off with the verbs to lease and to let. They actually have the same meaning. To lease and to let are used when the owner of a building, like a residential or commercial property, grants a user the right to occupy the building for a certain period of time in exchange for regular payments. The owner who leases or lets the space is called a landlord. The party who occupies the space is referred to as a tenant. But there's one difference that you should keep in mind. The verb to lease is mostly used in the US, while to let is predominantly used in the UK. They have the same meaning, but people in different places tend to prefer one term over the other. So, keep in mind that when you communicate with a British business partner, you should use the verb to let, and when you communicate with a US business partner, you should use the verb to lease. Let's take a look at some examples. The landlord leases, or lets, downtown offices to law firms in San Francisco and New York. The property owner has decided to lease or let the entire fifth floor to a tech company. The retail space on the ground floor will be leased or let to up and coming fashion brands. Got it? Okay, then let's move on and add the verb to rent to the mix. While the verbs to lease and to let refer to a situation in which a landlord leases space to a tenant, the verb to rent is more versatile and can go in both directions. Let's have a look at some examples. The property owner rented a logistics property to a tenant from Asia. The tenant from Asia was happy to rent grade A logistics space in such a well-connected logistics hub. As you can see in this example, when we use to rent with the preposition to, it has the same meaning as to lease and to let. But a tenant can also use the verb to rent to indicate that they've rented space from a landlord. Both directions are possible. Now, the words lease and rent can also be used as nouns. The term lease, when used as a noun, refers to a written agreement between a property owner or landlord and a tenant and outlines the details of the relationship between them. In the written text of a lease, the landlord is referred to as the lesser and the tenant as the lessee. The noun rent refers to the amount that the tenant has to pay to the landlord on a monthly, quarterly, or yearly basis. Rents in the plural form may also refer to the overall rental levels or rent prices in a given city or market. Let's take a look at some specific examples. Due to scarce supply, the number of leases signed in Hamburg, Germany is down. Rents have increased as a result. 
Rents in this part of town have seen an uptick this past quarter. The number of leases signed in the area has significantly gone up as well. Okay, that was quite a bit of information. Let's do a little quiz to see if you understand the difference between the terms we've covered in today's lesson. Remember that you can pause the video at any time if you need to think about your answer. Ready? Here we go. As a growing international law firm, we were looking to expand into the German market. In line with this strategy, we were looking to lease, rent, offices in Berlin. We hired a local real estate agent who presented us with three potential offices. One was the perfect fit, but we found out that the property owner was not interested in letting renting the offices for a short period of time only. We would have to sign a rent lease for at least 10 years. We looked into other options and found that we were able to rent, let, office space with the option to terminate at any time with six months notice. And the rent lease was much more affordable to boot. We moved in last month and are very happy with our decision. So how did you do? Let's find out. The answers are number one, rent. Number two, letting. Number three, lease. And number four, rent and rent. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video. It really helps us stay motivated to keep creating new lessons. And go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.